What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for PlayPicks.com, joined by my good friend Matt Peralt here. If you subscribe to this channel, which you should, hit that little subscribe button down below. You already know him from our college football content. Going to be doing some basketball content as we move out of football season here. Going to be doing tons of college bowl content and everything as well. But today, we are talking the Falcons and the Saints here on Thanksgiving here. And this is a game that, (laughs) boy, I bet you people thought... Maybe yeah. at the beginning of the season that this was going to be one of the premier games of the of the of the year, and it's just not going to be. You this know? game yeah. was supposed to be Rams Chiefs. Yeah, this was yeah. supposed to be offense, offense, offense. Oh my gosh, points, points, points! And who wants to get in front of the Saints train this week? Yeah, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> this is just going to be unbelievable here again. Guys, subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the thumbs up, and in the comments section, let us know how you're playing the game here. If you have a side that you like, if you have a total that you like, if you're teasing it, whatever it might be, just let us know how you feel about this game right here and of course go to playpicks.com forward slash bonus we have a very special offer that you can only get for one week that is sixty dollars for free sixty bills for free you'll go you'll go to this page you'll get this page and that is sixty dollars for free at DraftKings Sportsbook you want to take advantage of that trust me it's sixty free dollars so be sure and do that all right so we're getting these out early so there's always maybe some injury news that might pop up you're going to need to follow that you know in the 48 hours leading into the kickoff here and things like that we want to get them out because we want to make sure that you have them before you get into your Thanksgiving festivities and things like that. So to make sure. Yeah. Three dome games. So no weather concerns whatsoever. Three dome games on on Thanksgiving. That's amazing. Yeah. So no weather concerns whatsoever. So don't worry about wind and don't worry about rain and ice and snow and things like that. Don't worry about it. Fun stuff. Yeah. Falcons (laughs) four and six on the season. Three and three at home. One and three on the road. Listen, probably playing for pride here because, I mean, they, they have an out, a very outside chance at making a wild card, but, I mean, probably not. What a disappointing you know, season. Yeah, probably what not. What a disappointing run for this team after what was so promising in all that talent on offense. Just not a good season so far. Yeah. Um, then we got the Saints, 9-1 and one on the year, 4-1 <laughs> and one at home, 5-0 and oh on the road, have not lost since a week one shootout to the Bucks, where they basically soaked up all the remaining Fitz magic. There was the, all the Fitz magic that was left in the world went into that game. And the and because we've seen, if you watched him play after that, you understand he is now benched for, for James Winston. Of Again. Course. Yeah. Uh, coming off a soul destroying defeat of the Eagles. I mean, like that has to be just a, an absolute crusher for that team. And me too, because I really thought I had an Eagles plus eight and a half and I thought, okay, the Eagles are going <laughs> to play the best game of the year. They'll lose by seven. Give me the eight and a half. <laughs> And I couldn't believe the, how badly and how lopsided that game yeah. got, how fast it was over. And the Saints are the best team in football, yeah, folks. This team is absolutely rolling right now. So looking at the lines here, we'll click over, of course, at DraftKings. It's pretty cool. You have this little stats tab here if you want to take a look at the various cool. little things they've got going on. But at the odds, we'll uh, scroll up here. We've got 12 and a half with a 60 so- Total in this one here over at FanDuel, we're looking at 13 and a 59 and a half. And if you want to play at Bet Stars, it's a 13 with a total of 60. You're getting a little bit of reduced, uh, a little bit of reduced juice here. You see on the Saints at that 13 number. Same over at Bet Stars, it's uh, it's 105 over there as well. 31 percent of the bets, but 71 percent of the money. Is on the Falcons and the points in this one. I assume probably at the 13 number here, which is why DraftKings has had to move down yep. to the 12 and a half right here. As you see, 83% of the bets and an unreal 92% of the money so far <laughs> on the over in this game. And it's kind of hard. It's kind of it's kind of hard to to say like, well, I mean, you know, look, it, this is like Monday night, right? Because on, on Monday night, it was how do you justify taking the under in that game? And we saw it get destroyed in kind of like the same thing. How do you justify? And that is a 60, guys. That, that's what's highlighting on your screen right there. That is a 60. And yeah, I mean, we'll we'll talk about the, the case for the over and under here in just a second on the injury side of things. Um, listen, Deion Jones has been practicing. They thought maybe he's going to be able to come back last week. Wasn't able to, uh, now they think he's maybe could come back for this and been limited in practice again so far this week. You know, I mean, at this point with the, where the, where the Falcons are in the season, maybe you bring him back if he's not a hundred percent, but I don't know, man, this is a, this is a real big key to that defense of theirs. And I mean, I think you kind of, kind of got to start looking towards next season. Almost, yeah. You know? if, if he can play without getting the injury more, more, you know, have a pushing it to a worse point where he's got more yeah. weeks out. 
then play him. But otherwise, why? Yeah, because, I mean, this is such he's such an integral part yeah. of that defense that, yeah, you don't want to mess with him. Calvin Ridley practicing in limited fashion. He is expected to go there. Traquan Smith yet to practice this week. Actually looks pretty questionable here with a foot injury. Uh, that means Austin Carr, Keith Kirkwood, and they did tie Brandon Marshall hey. as well You know, hey. on that team. <laughs> Here's the thing. You didn't even know who Keith Kirkwood was two weeks ago, and now the guy's catching passes from Drew Brees, and he looks like an all-star. This is what Drew Brees does. You know, I mean, like, no one even knew who Keith, Kirk- Keith Kirkwood was, including me, and the Saints are my team. I didn't, even know, <laughs> I didn't even know who Keith Kirkwood was, you know? But, I mean, it, it is what it is. And, you know, Brandon Marshall, I think probably – what we've seen here is a, a, a really big reduced snap count for Ben Watson. It wouldn't surprise me if they use Brandon Marshall just essentially as like a, a tight end, like huh? a, a, in a tight end role. Um, well, and, on the edge and, for run blocking, he's yeah. a big body yeah. dude. So, yeah, I could see it. Um, so, on the offensive side of the ball here, I mean, the Falcons look on the offense, offensive side of the ball, uh, you know, look, 15th in total points, 6th in total yards, ninth in red zone touchdown percentage, uh, 29th in rush percentage. That's because they're always friggin' losing. Right. So, that means 6th in pass attempts, of course, 3rd in pass yards. Their offensive line line seventh best run blocking unit according to pro football focus 19th mm. in pass blocking here i mean one of the big things was is they were not u- utilizing julio jones in the red zone and now we've seen julio jones score you know at least in three straight games so i mean if you want to look at that i mean they're still scoring points they just can't stop anybody of course we'll talk about that in in, in and, just Ri- a and ridley's been a really nice yeah nice i mean they thought he's been really good coming out of bama but he's been really a nice addition to that offense. And, and even all i mean they got austin hooper involved yeah. there is the front tight end position i mean even when even when they lost uh freeman i mean listen you've got tevin coleman who steps in and steps up you got judge ito there what are ito <laughs> smith J- you know judge ito smith in the backfield <laughs> yes. there with him as well so i mean yeah this is uh this is an offense that, that, that can definitely score which is why we're looking again lighting up on your screen that is a six on your screen right there in this game saints on the offensive side of the ball i mean what can we say sixth in total six in points per game fourth in total yards fourth in red zone touchdown percentage third in rush percentage and that i think that would jump off the page to a lot of people because you think of drew Brees and you're like oh man drew Brees, all this uh, you know crazy crazy stats but you got alvin Kamara and you got mark ingram and they are really really good without a doubt and they pick up chunk yardage in the run game i mean it's not like they're going that's why they keep feeding yeah third three and a half yards per rush i mean they are picking up chunk plays with both those guys and defenses don't know what to do because your linebackers and safeties sneak up to help in the run game whoop over the top uh sixth in total rush yards 19th in pass attempts but this is let you know this is the stat for drew Brees. so 19th in pass attempts but sixth in pass yards, fifth in pass yards per attempt, the most efficient quarterback maybe we've ever seen in the history of the NFL. That means big plays, folks. Big yeah. plays. When he throws, it's like 80 and yards, they catch 70 them. yards. Yeah. And they catch him <laughs> you know, every single time. Offensive line, 14th run blocking unit, 7th pass blocking unit, which also helps when you have a guy like Drew Brees who is so incredibly accurate and he's not getting sacked and knocked down all the time. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. For this pace stat, though, is confusing to me. Yeah. On, on the pace, uh, on the pace things here is uh, the Falcons 17th in pace. Fal- uh, the Saints actually 30th in pace. But what's going on with that is um, you were talking about these big chunk plays and things like that. So they might run the 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 clock down. They might run the the, the play clock down, but they just score very fast. You know I mean, they, st- they just, they just get a lot of yardage when they do actually run the play. Yeah. So you know? it's so, deceiving. It's a little bit yeah. of a trick, trick yeah. stat there. It's not like one of these other, it's not like one of these other grind teams where, yeah, where it's kind of a grinded out, grinded yeah. out team on the defensive side of the ball. This is where this Ugh. is going to, this is what's going to happen. I mean, look, Falcons, 32nd overall DVOA, 25th by Pro Football Focus, 29th in yards per game allowed, 28th against the run, 31st Ugh. rush yards per attempt, Ugh. 34th in pass rush, 29th pass yards per game, 30th against quarterbacks, 29th against running backs, and 28th against wide receivers. That's bad news when you're playing the Saints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's about as bad of a stat line as you could have and, and, and this against is, this team. And this is why we're looking right here at this total at 60 because it's it's you've got a Falcons team that can score and should have some success as well. But how in the hell are they going to stop the Saints? 54 on Monday night. Do the Saints get to 54? <laughs> could they get to 60 by themselves? I mean, yeah. And this <laughs> this is, might be also be why we see this number where it's at because they the Saints might be looking at, you know, <laughs> these books are going, I mean, they're going to score 42 points right. in this Easy. game. Easy. You know? Easy 42 like they're points. They're going to score 40 points in this game. Question how many points did the Falcons score? Saints on the <laughs> other side, uh, 24th overall DVOA, 10th overall pro football focus, 16th yards per game, 7th against 7th against the, now, This rush defense is 
stout. They are seventh against the run, second in rush yards allowed per game, fifth in rush yards per attempt. I mean, they are really, really stout against the run. It's the pass funnel, basically. Yeah. 27th in pass yards allowed per game. Now, some of that could be because they're head, you yeah. know, and like just a lot of teams get soft coverage. Yeah, yeah, and soft coverage there. Uh, and if you're looking at, yeah, you know, one of the things to poke holes in, they are graded dead last versus wide receivers in the league here. So that is one of the things to look at. But let's kind of look at our picks here. Um, you know, look, this is a this this is a big number, and I get it. I understand 12 and a half. I mean, listen, if you want to go over to FanDuel, if you're feeling a Falcons bet, I mean, it is 13 over there. It's 13 at BetStars as well. Um, I got to be honest with you. I think the question we have to ask ourselves is, have the Falcons packed it in? Look, I took my honeymoon was in New Orleans. Okay, I I was there for a, a Falcons Saints game. These two teams. This might be one of the more underrated rivalries in all, the whole NFL. These two teams and fan bases hate each other. <laughs> they, they completely despise one another. Yeah. The Saints are going to pour it on. In my mind, mm-hmm. I, I know you could say it's a big number, but to me. The Saints are going to run it away. Seems right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's make the case for the over. I think the case for the over is the fact <laughs> the that the Saints are playing. The Saints are playing. <laughs> the Falcons have a horrible defense, yes. but they have a fairly decent offense right. and should be able to score 20 points. Yeah, it should be able to score 20 points. Now, let's make a case for the under then because we don't really, really have to make a case for the for the over. The case for the under here for me is I mean, the only thing would be that the Falcons have completely given up the Saints get up big in the first half, and then and then and then coast in the second half. That would be the, that would just make it a case for the under. For all trying right, to make, I could see that if it's like a forty to three type final. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, all like, right, like something like that. They they get up big and then they just coast in the second half because you can ride Mark Ingram. I mean, like you, you can you can. Oh get, yeah, I mean you can ride I, Mark Ingram. I could in the see half. that, but th- that also, I mean, again, in a rivalry game, I just I don't know. I mean, I think the Falcons are going to come out and give everything they got in this game. So, I I think the over is the right play here. Yeah. I think get for, don't get in front of this train. All right, so let, let's let's talk our actual our actual picks here and what we like and guys listen I understand this is a big number um this Saints offense to me is one of the most ridiculously efficient things we've ever seen I understand that you you watch this Chiefs and Rams team and that yeah they score a ton of points on these spots but we're talking about just pure efficiency this Saints team is just a well-oiled machine and I, I really don't see that going away not at all and I think the 12 and a half I'm surprised it's going down at DraftKings yeah. I'm surprised it's like going the other way yeah. not going up just because of the numbers we just gave you the Saints I don't think the Falcons are going to stop them they may not punt yeah I mean they're just going to go up and down the field yeah and you know again if you're if you want to if you want to play a teaser look it does bring it down under a touchdown if oh, you want to you know, if you want to oh. bring it down under a touchdown it gets it down to six and a half and if you want to play the over then you're getting it at 54 and again oh. Saints, Saints could do 54 on their own Yes, and we saw it on Monday night. So yeah, <laughs> it's been yeah. done already this Saints, week. Thanks to do 54 on the <laughs> Guys, again, head to uh, playpicks.com forward slash bonus. You'll come to this page right here. $60 for free, $500 in free bets at BetStars, $500 at FanDuel. Just tons and tons of great goodness. The link's down there in the description as well. Please hit subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. And in the comments, let us know how you're playing this game. We're very interested. This is going to be a great one to close out Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.